what is going on youtube it's your favorite youtuber me and my kicks coming at you with another detail review and on foot of the nike lebron 11 elite se this shoe has a lot of nicknames so you know you can go championship pack high the cramp pack high also the iron man's but i personally will call these the iron man edition so here's a review on the iron man's coming up Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of a foam posit upper and you also got fly wire in here as well. As you can see, you got that go, you got that red on um, foam posit material all throughout the shoe, pretty sturdy. And then you got those gold metallic hits in the Nike check, this right here, also this right here. Like, you know, and the shoe looks like it's a robotic type sneaker, so that's why I really call these the Iron Man's. Like if if Iron Man was actually a person that played basketball, he would have had to have at least five pairs of these because it just matches his personality and, and um, Iron Man suit so cold. But, um, you know, you got the gold part right here. Getting towards the back of the shoe, nothing really to note right here. And on the medial side of the shoe, is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. On the inside part right here, it says Elite, which is a nice touch. And getting towards the lacing system of the shoe, just your standard Nike LeBron 11 Elite lacing. You got that Nike check right here in gold. Got that reinforced um, like foam posit toe right here. Like these shoes are tanks. Like you will, you should be able to wear this almost every day for a year, and it should still dang that look brand new out the box if you clean them every day. And getting towards the laces, they give you um, red laces with gold tips, and they also give you an alternate pair of laces. It's like a a multicolored, you know, yellow, green, red type of style, and those got um like 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 a peach lace right here it's pretty decent like it kind of matches the um what's the, it, it kind of matches the sock liner that's why they gave you these laces me personally i will keep the red gold laces because it just looks better and then also one thing i used to love about like lebron's back in the day is that they give you this like lion um lace lock in there that's just pretty decent real nice and sturdy then on the top of the tongue you got the lebron james logo in gold and on the insole of the shoe the insole looks like the sock liner and it says lebron painted in gold also one thing to note is that this had like plastic over the um this chrome material because over time as you wear this this is going to flake off i don't know why like nike still hasn't made technology that prevents this but like it had like um, plastic covering over it it said remove over flight over time it just like the stickers stickiness of it just died off so i just pulled it off but yeah over over time this can potentially um flake off so that's why they added those stickers on there also this isn't like a straight up gold i would say this is somewhat of an iridescent gold like you know when it when you shine it across different areas you get different colors that pick it up on there as well it's not like a straight gold it's an iridescent gold which i really like as far as sizing goes with this shoe i would suggest going an entire size up if you have a fat or a wide foot if you have a normal to a narrow foot you can definitely go true to size in these shoes these shoes retail at $295, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. Ever since the LeBron ones, like the retail price just stayed going up on shoes all the way up until the LeBron 12s. And that bubble burst during the LeBron 13s and just started like skyrocketing down in my opinion. But anyway, how I came across these shoes was um, during the finals, NBA finals, these were supposed to be like LeBron's like commemorative shoe for winning the NBA championship in 2013-14. Um, also, just to let you know, these dropped in like August of 2014. So these shoes are like nine years old. But anyways, when they were playing in the championship, um, you know, he was supposed to win and he's supposed to wear these shoes. But the San Antonio Spurs have other had other plans and they ended up beating him. Um, you know, Wade wasn't the same player. Um, you know, also during game one, the reason why they call these the cramp pack is because during game one, the AC system wasn't working for the San Antonio Spurs. So... The um, NBA players still had to play on the court and the temperatures was probably like over 100 degrees because it's already hot in San Antonio and you in a building with like 100,000 fans and there's no AC. I'm sure it was burning up on the court and LeBron ended up getting um, like a cramp in his leg. And since he went down in game one due to the cramp, they call these the cramp games, but I digress. Um, they also call these the um, Iron Man edition because you know, it got the red and gold hits, just like Iron Man. And at the time, Iron Man was like one of the movies. Like, this was before Infinity War and Endgame. Like, Iron Man was like one of the best, um, you know, Marvel superheroes at the time. And also, you rarely see a shoe this color and like red and gold on a shoe. So, I, I, due to all these reasons, I definitely had to grab it. But um, these released at retail 
at 295 and they flopped instantly like i already knew that no one was going to get the shoot one because he didn't win the championship two 295 dollars for a nike basketball shoe is crazy so i missed out on it because like these sold out in my size but um, one of my friends who bought them and eventually didn't want them, he gave them to me for retail. Um, he was one of my Facebook friends, so I just bought it off him. And you know, like I could have waited and probably got it for 200, 220, but I really wanted the shoe at the time because the colorway is crazy. And then just to let you know, these shoes had a, a low version that dropped as well. Those was the 11 low cramp pack, and those never released at retail, so like they dropped at a outlet here an outlet there so they was like a little bit limited and you couldn't really get a gauge on how many pairs there was so those shoes skyrocketed in price like those retailed at like 200 and they was going for like 350 400 500 at a time eventually i ended up getting those shoes and doing a review on it i put up above if you want to check it out so when it comes to the entire 11 lebron cramp pack i got these easily no problem and it took me a while to get the lows but you know over time like more than likely, I'll probably get these shoes back to the streets because I really don't need an all red and gold LeBron. You know what I mean? I probably will never get the same price that I paid for it, and I understand that, so I probably have to sell it at an L. But you know how it goes. That, that It is what it is. But it's still a clean, cold shoe, in my opinion. The LeBron 11 is one of the best LeBron silhouettes of all time, and the Elite just really added to it, you know, with the extra, like, oomph and, and like, um metallic looks that they threw on there it really just made it you know really pop in my opinion at the time now without further ado here's the on foot look of the nike lebron 11 elite se cramp pack championship pack high or or iron man edition more problems but less help they love me at my worst but hated me at my best self yes well with lanes my patience thin as eggshells but games i gotta win those like excel leg swell from walking around when i met cells next tell run like one sweat bell just painting you a picture as i whistle my death knell the flame that just got dimmer like a lit cigarette fell that you just held damn it used to be blood now they dead cells i remember i used to get love through the text mail nowadays nobody cuffing shit except 12 only reason i might give a fuck is because sex sells wet hells i done swam through with a stretch phelps kept selling i'm just trying to make it to my next dwelling Omi told me always stay quiet when the rest yelling never front your move it's less telling on both ends she right that l had a feeling hopeless inside real strength is holding your head when you don't want to fight a different lens might fix your vision bring focus to sight right. these things can happen in a blink that make you open your eyes this final form white beating on my chest i had a storm white still sound bright through all the fog i'm a storm light saw them niggas claiming the crown it wasn't warm right and they video just fuckery should have porn sight torn twice because the streets Cola on them warm nights. Told Vegas that he needs to chill. He bought more ice. Just because we blood, it doesn't mean that I'm your type. I can show you how to get around. I'm a tour guide. Stress had me building up walls because Fortnite. Deaths had me wishing that we all had foresight. No, I'm gifted as cause December 24th night. Hold back a little, but remember to be forthright. Wise words, eyes closed, beating through a blind curve. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's the most you ever paid for a nike basketball sneaker um it could be 295 dollars with this sneaker it could be you know 250 ish with a certain lebron model like because lebron models definitely was going crazy with the money man but you know just comment down below what's the most you ever paid for a nike um basketball sneaker it could be a phone positive whatever man just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section also if you aren't subscribed to the channel what are you doing man Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.